Iowa. Central Iowa is seeing a steady decrease of people pursuing and achieving a teaching degree. That's according to leaders at Des Moines Public Schools. This is a busy time of the year for school staff as they will lose anywhere from 200 to 250 educators come May for various reasons. At the same time, they are serving increasingly growing classrooms with more and more diverse students. We sat down with school staff to see what is being done about this teacher shortage. School drop-offs like this one at Brody Middle School set the tone for the day. Parents handing their kids over to the staff. Teachers here tell me they are excited every day to bring those kids in. Those teachers will manage 30 to 40 students throughout every day. It is schools like this throughout Iowa that set youth up for success. I love the fist bumps, the high fives, just to see the joy and then make that connection every morning is so fun. In each classroom at Brody, teachers have increasing responsibilities, guiding students through each lesson while navigating technology as a classroom staple. Sarah Kelly is an instructional coach at Brody. It's a second career path. She left a job in finance because she felt a calling to work in education. Her parents encouraging her to make the change, telling her, You need to be that teacher that you needed. Kelly and her husband were living in Tennessee at the time. Her husband also supporting her. He goes, no, you need to come to Iowa because he's from here. And he goes, our schools like need someone who cares like you. And so we made the 700 mile move and I student taught in uh, Mitchellville and got my first position in DMPS and have loved every minute of being in Des Moines Public Schools. She finds joy showing students that they have someone who's in their corner. For her, it's more than teaching. Yes, I don't know how many times I've been called mom. The current eighth graders here at Brody were my last students in the classroom, seventh graders last year, and they are my kids. And when a student may be having a tough day. And so we become that one that pushes through and helps them walk a little taller. When I see the kid who would come in, you know, hunched over, upset, then a week later after hanging out or talking to him every day, things like that, they come in with their shoulders back and a smile on their face. While her energy is contagious, school staff tell me that passion is in a shortage. It's an issue that Theron Hobbs, DMPS coordinator of recruitment and retention, says keeps him up at night. Yes, it is a teacher crisis. Yes, it's education crisis. The cost to earn a teaching degree and the lack of teacher pay are part of the uphill battles educators face. Hobbs also says data shows most people will tend to be teachers in their hometown. He says student teaching in DMPS or DMPS graduates will hopefully lead to a teaching degree. That's the only way we can ensure that we can always fill in these vacancies. Right now, the school district needs to fill around 20 positions. Come May, that number jumps from 200 to 250. A cyclical trend of contracts ending, educators retiring, or teachers deciding not to teach anymore. Our current teachers are going to have too many students that are being asked to serve. That's going to create a burnout for them. Hobb says it's not just in Iowa. It is a nationwide problem. School leadership's trying to get innovative, rallying support from both the government and private funding. Hobbs also says the children they serve are becoming more diverse, many speaking different languages. He says providing kids with educators who look like them and understand their cultural backgrounds is critical. And that's where Hobbs says the Grow Our Own program is making a difference. Claudia Steele is from El Salvador. She fled the Civil War decades ago and has made Iowa home. She's earned her education through the Grow Our Own program, passionate about her students. I love teaching them. I like to build a, a relationship with them, with their families. Uh, I love when they, they don't get it, they come to me and they tell me, could you explain it to me? Could you spend time with me and teach me? She, like Hobbs, also believes our society needs to recognize our education system, needs help. And we have to see it as a collective responsibility and have to see it as this is the, the way which we could truly show love for our students, is making sure that they have the best education and the best educators and as many educators possible. Hobbs says for people pursuing their initial teaching degree license, there's what's called 3D, a partnership between Des Moines Public Schools, DMAC, and Drake University. They're also developing a new pathway program at Grandview University for positions in special education. Hobbs believes it'll take policymakers, philanthropists, and business owners to invest in our schools to turn this crisis around. For more info, visit this story on our website, weareiowa.com.